Hey what's going on guys, this is SKSD Games here and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today's the day. It has been a long time since my first summoning video, but now I am fully prepared. If you've been around quite a while, you should know that the routine with these banners. Usually I only summon up to guarantees on limited banners, but this is different. I've been needing a second Soul Weaver to pair alongside my Angelic Mont, who has been quite amazing. I believe Tam and Destina are the only one Soul Weavers I can pull if I invested, but Tam is more PvE god, which is more of what I'm looking for. And I believe all the rest of the Soul Weaver, uh, the 5 star Soul Weavers, Diane is a limited banner, I don't know when she's going to be coming out again. And the other two are Moonlight Heroes, which are not guaranteed. Or at least in the foreseeable future. And if so, they're only in Mystic Summons, so this is the best option I have at the Soul Weaver position. And her character does remind me of Love Life, which I've never seen. Speaking of which, I do realize that these summonings might start becoming as exciting as watching paint dry. I say that because I only do these once I'm loaded with at least 605 bookmarks, so there's no surprise to the outcome. And staying on the topic, it's quite amazing that I've met someone in class that plays this game. And now he started recently and he was able to pull Angelica before me and my thousands of bookmarks I've spent throughout my entire time playing. So it's amazing that through my thousands of bookmarks, I've never been able to summon this one specific 4-star. And 4-stars, uh, normal 4-stars are present in all every banner except for the specific Moonlight banners. And that's just amazing to me. Anyways, in Hunt 11s, they really emphasized the need for elemental advantage heroes to the point. They made the bosses specifically counter non-advantage heroes. Now, going from the top of my head, I think the Wyvern, if non-ice heroes, or in Wyvern, non-ice heroes uh, buff the Wyvern's combat readiness, and where the Golem seems to permanently stun my ice heroes, so I can't use Angelic Mont effectively in Golem hunts. So that's enough talking for that Golem hunt, let's start summoning. 1330 is where we started with and I'm gonna fast track through these because I've got most of everything that's gonna occur unless it's a five-star artifact it would be quite hilarious if I did pull Angelica in this banner because uh, I desperately wanted her for so long. It's not a 5 star character, but it's something you definitely need throughout your entire time playing this game is a soul weaver. Because you can mix and match DPS's, knights, tanks, whatever, but healing is one function that's just soul weavers have So far, not very great. 14 in. Nothing of note so far. Oh, I think this was one of my first videos I've ever made was uh, trying to summon for Tam on the with the very little bookmarks I had saved up at the time. Now I kind of learned my lesson, plus they also has a guarantee, so this is something that will not avoid me today. Mainly three stars, and we are 20 summons in. Have we gotten a four star yet? I'm, I'm fast tracking through this, but... We're not even going to get a 4 star. Well, 
1% chance. Is it like a, a coin flip that I'm gonna get it? In 120? Actually. There's nothing to... Oh, it's something shining. What is it? Oh, it's a Clarissa. That is very... Uh... How shall I say it? Nostalgic, that's the word, of getting Clarissa. She was one of the selective heroes I've pulled for this account. Although I never ended, or I never ended up using her. Oh! It's a 5 star artifact. It's not gonna be Isles Shear. Elbris's. Elbris Ritual Sword. So it's new. Um. Counter attack when an ally is attacked. Is there a specific hero this is useful for? Because I've rarely seen this used in many builds. Then again, I've barely have any or used any knights at all, but interesting. I knew it was unlikely to be idols here because one thing I did notice is that they did not the uh the banner doesn't have a rate up on the on Tam's artifact, even though this is our banner. I'm pretty sure it it's usually not the case, but this time it is. Five star artifact, huh? Okay, a little infinity basket. While we're in the midst of groveling through all this garbage, uh, I, I do have to say that... Oh, I hate Boruto so much. They ruined so many characters. Like, Gara has that really awful haircut that kind of kills anything, like any, like, coolness as that has been building up for the last few decades. Now he has this. This, uh, this is un regular looking haircut. But they made Anko fat. Why did they do that? They have to be hella cruel for that. That's that's hella messed up. I don't know why they made Anko fat. <laughs> she was one of my favorite characters in that show, but then... Oh, Boruto says nope. I mean, does eating a lot of, like, those dongos, I think that's rice dumplings, if I'm not mistaken. Does that make you that fat in that short of a time? I don't know. More reasons I'm just waiting for the show to get better, but... Okay, I'm under a thousand books mar bookmarks right now, but... Obviously, nothing's coming up so far. Two five-star artifacts, that's very interesting. Not a single... Or, not Tam at all, but... Okay. Another knight artifact, justice for all. I have no idea what I can use that on, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I was about to say, is that gonna be my third five star artifact? Of course. <clears throat> As you guys know from, I believe, the last, like, two videos ago, I, I mentioned that I pulled Moonlight, Ken, and uh, Apocalypse Ravi, the Moonlight Ravi. All from the free, uh, summon, uh, the 70s free summon, 70 free summons event that they had, which was unbelievably lucky considering the rate of those characters. But 
The downside to that is RNG is going to balance that out by making sure that I do not get lucky on these banners and I have to go through the entire length of 121 summons. So I guess the flips, like the upside is that I got incredibly lucky on those free summons to get two Moonlight 5 stars, my first ever, but I guess the law of averages and probability st says that I'm gonna have to pay, pay off that debt here. Fortunately, at least there is a an, an end point this time, and I'm not gonna get screwed over. Okay, I'm towards the latter part of this session, 30 left. I just hope that my inventory or my hero inventory doesn't get full. That would be quite an irritating. Come on. No. One thing I wish they've done, but I think that would have been a little bit overkill, was also have a, a chance, the same chance to get a Moonlight in the raid up banners but i think that would again be overkill because there's already a guarantee so that'd be asking a little bit too much in one thing all right 100 summons in that's th what yeah 300 300 bookmarks in that quickly then again i've been uh Brutalizing a lot of Arkies with hammers. And that, that helps out a lot. I do like those events. It's a shame they, uh, the currents, the bookmarks just fly by really quickly before my very eyes right now. 15 left. Come on. At this point, I'm gonna get the character either way, so the only thing I'm hoping for is that. I get a, a five star artifact or something, a four star hero beforehand. I have 11 summons left, come on. Well, I'm gonna get her. No surprise there. It's a shame I had to go through all of those. Bingo, get out of here. I already got you. Like artifacts. Blurry. Too bad you were nerfed. Who's it? Okay, five. Oh. Ah. Uh, they're gonna troll me and I get it on the 120th. And I believe the counter resets. That'd be insane. Two. And one. Don't do it. Okay, they didn't do it. Oh, I was about to get so... Okay, it's a Rin. So I'm finally gonna get a second Soul Weaver. A Soul Weaver I can actually use, because I just don't like lots. And even with... even post buffs, I don't think he's one of the better Soul Weavers. He's serviceable, but again, I just really want Tam. Mainly because of PvE, because according to Rookie, and I understand where they're coming from, She's pretty awful in PvP. Although I do have Iceria, so that'd be interesting to try out. But here goes. Oh, shiny. Why didn't you show up like 50 summons ago? <laughs> oh man, whatever. I've, oh, I finally pulled her. Shame it took like the entire length of my YouTube channel to to do so. Wait, I just clicked. Oh, all oh, right. <laughs> I just did 120 summons. No wonder I got on six transmit stones right from the click. So this is what I've hoped would be the results versus what I've actually gotten. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran into these recently and it made me spill my drink. The, the community for this game is quite hilarious and creative with 
whether that's humor or the fan art. But sometimes things like the Angelica fan art quote and memes are like, uh, I don't really know how I feel about this because there's a lot of red flags there. But jokes aside, that is it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed me dumping 605 bookmarks and subscribe if you want to see me dump another 605 in the future. Till next time, peace out.